Hey guys, it's Ebony. So I wanted to come back and kind of elaborate on the statement that I made um, in my last video. So in my last video, I mentioned that I no longer judge anybody anymore for anything whatsoever. And um, I want to kind of explain why I've come to that conclusion and why I think it's best that no one, you know, passes uh, that type of judgment unless you're making a statement in order to um, build somebody up, build somebody back up to um, help them help them get out of whatever negative situation that they're in or you're trying to do something constructive or positive. So I made up in my mind recently that everything that I do in this world is going to be for the benefit of, of people. It's going to be positive. It's going to be uplifting. It's going to be encouraging um, because we just have too many people doing the opposite. So there has to be more people uh, spreading positivity and love and kindness to people in order to get this world back to a place where it is a you know good place to live in, where it's a wonderful place to be. Is is that even possible? I don't know, but I know I have to do my part to make that happen. So, unfortunately, because of social media and the ability for people's mistakes to be aired all across the world from continent to continent you know any mistake that you make you are in jeopardy of having your information spread all over the world simply through social media and having millions and millions of strangers being able to pass judgment on you and your situation even though one they do not know all the facts two they do not know um your past life experiences that could cause you to act or behave in a certain way. And three, they don't know you. And I got it in my mind um, when I'm on social media and I see posts and I see, you know, people's business spread all over the internet. If I read an article or something and I read the comments and I hear people just going in being negative, why would that lady do that? She's not fit to be a mother. Why would he do that? He needs to be locked up. And I'm thinking, okay, but what do you really know about this person? What do you know about what they've been through? You know, what do you know about their experiences? Have Do we not all have things in our past that we wish could stay hidden in the back part of our memory uh, where no one is able to access it and say, hey, at one time you did this and you did that. We all have things, I believe. I know I do. I have things that, you know, decisions that I made um, when I was not, I guess, as mature as I am now or as, as, um, knowledgeable as I am now about certain things, you know, certain things you should and should not do in life. So I made mistakes as we all do, because that's part of learning and growing and developing. Yes, there's old people or people in older in age who are still doing mistakes and still doing stupid stuff. But who's to say that something did not happen to them in their life, either as a child or as a young adult, something that was so traumatic and so hard for them to process mentally that it caused them to behave in the manner that they're behaving now. Am, am I justifying anything that anyone has done that's criminal or illegal or just morally wrong? No, I'm not justifying that. But I'm saying I'm not going to look down on somebody and say this person deserves this or this person is... Uh, crap for lack of a better word because of something they've done when I don't know what they've been through I don't know if they had a father who was beating them every day of their childhood where they internalize all that pain and anger um, to a point that they don't know how to process those things when they become an adult um, I don't know if someone was told that they were stupid all of their lives and in order to build their self-esteem they're doing things extreme with their parents, and now you're passing judgment on that person, saying that person looks a certain way, but yeah, you don't know what they're dealing with. So basically, I say all of that to say, you never know someone's story. You never know what they've been through. You don't really know them, and even if it's somebody that you think you know, like a relative or um, a close friend, do you ever really know somebody? Do you know what, what thoughts are going on in their head or or what they're dealing with unless they're really just completely transparent with you and a lot of times people aren't you never know so I don't pass judgment on people based on their actions if there's anything I can do to help them to encourage them to uplift them then that's what I try to do but I would never sit on the internet 
react and type up something negative about somebody based on something I saw or based on a situation where I have limited understanding of what went on, um, you know, limited facts. And I'm just making a judgment based on what I was given. So, um, and I don't think anybody else should too. So, uh, if you're that, that type of person and, um, who feels that they can just pass judgment on somebody based on, you know, what you think, you know, just think about it. If the shoe were on the other foot, if you were in a situation where you did something that was, that was embarrassing, that was a, a huge mistake, would you want people just, uh, people that you don't even know or people that you do know constantly telling you, telling you how bad of a person you are, constantly telling you how much of a, a mistake you made, constantly putting you down? Or would you want somebody to say, hey, this is bad. What you did was bad, but you can change it. You have the opportunity to change it. You have the opportunity still in your life to do something good or to do something positive. It cannot right your wrongs, but at least we're going to be moving in the right direction. So I just wanted to share that. Let me know your thoughts and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.